When flying, the motto is safety first. Thus, pilots and cabin crew require absolutely accurate information about everything, from weather data to the weight of the aircraft even before takeoff. Each airline has its own experts for this. At TUI Fly, they're right next to the Hanover Airport at the TUI Group Operations Center. 150 aircraft of the TUI Group are coordinated here. We do the current flight planning on the basis of weather data and of news we get from the airports and about the aircraft themselves. Status reports, weight calculations for the complete TUI Group. We implement our flight program every day as punctually as possible and of course safely to get our passengers from point A to point B. Huge amounts of data converge here. The information comes from weather services, travel agents and technical service providers. For each flight, a so-called dispatcher draws up an individual flight plan. Important data are the weather, the number of passengers and the flight route. The briefing package contains more than just the flight plan calculated by us. It includes current weather data, like weather reports from airports which are important for us, our destination airports of course, but also alternative airports and others along the flight path which we might have to use in an emergency. And then there are weather maps and so-called NOTAMs, that's short for Notice to Airmen, a newspaper for pilots, so to speak. The dispatcher starts his calculations six hours before takeoff. Ideally, this only takes 15 minutes, if nothing unforeseen happens. In summer, we get thunderstorms, in winter, icing, and of course, there are also strikes. In some countries, flight control tends to strike quite often, but luckily, there's not much of that going on right now. Terrorist and bomb threats seldomly occur, but they can have a massive impact. There was once even a volcano eruption. Many factors can impair flight operations, but today everything seems calm. I'm doing the calculations for flight 2E Fly 4321 from Hanover to Rodos this afternoon. When the flight plan is finished, it's released, which is to say it's put into the system where it's automatically available online for the respective crew when checking in. One hour before takeoff, the crew meets for a joint briefing. To start with, my co-pilot and I sift through the whole data package. We calculate the amount of fuel we'll need for the first flight to Rodos. What I mainly tell the passengers in the cabin is the flight time, if turbulences are to be expected, and what the weather will be like at the destination airport. But the data still have quite a way to go. As soon as this data package is finished, it gets saved on two USB sticks, which are then taken to the cockpit and installed on the computers there, so we have all the data available which the company has provided. Then we can retrieve the information there and process it if necessary. Until shortly before takeoff, the number of passengers or baggage can change, and with it the amount of required fuel. So Captain Erler waits for the ramp agent. First I enter the cockpit and discuss with the pilot what to expect during the flight. How many passengers we'll have, whether there are any specials such as wheelchairs or unaccompanied children on board. Then he tells me how much fuel to tank and we wait for the chief cabin attendant to finish preparations and give us the OK for boarding. The last briefing before takeoff is the load sheet. It declares the current mass of the aircraft and the distribution of the total cargo and is checked with the ramp agent. Then it's cabin ready, aircraft refueled, ready for boarding. Great, then let's get started. Thanks, let's go. Enjoy your flights to Rodos.